All right, guys, welcome to Joe's RC Corner, and today we're going to be back on the Zenith Cruiser, so stay tuned, and we'll get working. Okay, guys, if you remember on my last video last week, I uh, kind of went over a little bit of uh, some issues that I ran into uh, installing the slide and seats and uh, I had to go ahead and replace some parts. Uh, those parts have now arrived and I will be able to go ahead and get started on um, uh, getting the L angles in place and also those uh, supports for the slide and seat option. So we're gonna go ahead and start working on getting those, uh, the braces in for the slide and seat option and uh, getting all the L angles in place um, and um, Maybe we'll throw a couple rivets in today, I'm not sure. We'll have to take a look at the instructions and, uh, and plans to see what we need to get done on it. So uh, let's go ahead over to the uh, front panel here, uh, the, or the front side of the fuselage, and uh, take a look and see what we have going on now. Okay guys, so like I said, we, uh, the, pan the, the new replacement parts came in, uh, so, and, and as you can see, everything fits in there perfectly on both sides. So that's great because that means that the fuselage front section here is now uh, square and, uh, and flat. Um, so um, lesson learned, take a little bit extra time, make sure everything is flat before uh, and square uh, and level before you start making, uh, uh, drilling out holes. So, uh, but anyways, uh, moving on, we have the new parts. These are the new seat bases, so those are in place on both sides. They're just temporarily in place because I do not have that crossbar, uh, which these are them here uh, for left and right. So we have the left and right. This is the front, that's the rear. Uh, the holes all should, uh, we're gonna go and make sure that the holes line up on, on these to get these in place. And uh, we'll also make sure that the, everything lines up on this one as well. So we'll go ahead and get moving on that and uh, get those underneath the uh, seat bases, get the L angles in place that attach them to the side walls, and uh, move on from there.
All right, guys, so here we are at the end of the video. Uh, I, want to pre I, I really want to thank you guys for sticking with me on this one. I know we do a lot of time lapses on this build, uh, but to be honest with you, the, uh, the, the time lapses are really for my, uh, my build log. Uh, so I keep track of my hours and keep track of uh, imagery of me building this thing. So, um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I, I hope it's not too boring. Uh, but we've made a large, uh, let's just say we, we've come a long way on this build. And uh, as you can see, uh, the front half of the fuselage now meets up with the rear fuselage. Now, it's not done, it's still just clecoed in place. Uh, the top is just clamped in place up here for the frame. Uh, so we're, we still got a long, long way to go, but everything lines up now, everything is straight. Uh, the seat bases, the back baggage area, everything is kind of, is, is fit in perfectly in here. Um, and now with this, in this position here, uh, my garage is looking mighty small. Um, I should be able to still get the fuselage in here on its wheels without this bench in here uh, to be able to install the engine avionics and so on. Yeah, I mean, like Mark says in the past uh, on some of his videos, sometimes you reach a milestone, you just got to sit back and stare at it for a while and go, wow, uh, I, I, I built this. This is really cool. Uh, so, without that, guys, that's, uh, I'm going to call it a wrap for the week. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so if you guys want to uh, support the channel, make sure that you do subscribe if you want to see this aircraft test first flight. So, uh, stick with me, guys. I appreciate it, and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye now. Keep building and keep flying.